And so you have these three individuals who come to Jesus, and it appears that they like the idea of following him, because two of three approach him. It also seems to be that they have an understanding of who he is, because they call him the Lord, right? Indicating, yes, he is the Messiah, he is the Savior, he's come to rescue us. They pursue Jesus, they have a sense of who he is, but Jesus seems to challenge their desire to follow him. Like, do you, do you really want to do this? Because we're going to wander around and we're not going to have a place to stay. Do you re- it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be comfortable. Like, we're going to do things that go against the grain of what's expected of you, and you might find your own family rejects you. Do, do you really want to sign up for this? Now, what's interesting is that in each of these exchanges, we, we don't know what the three individuals do. Because in each exchange, Jesus has the last word, and we don't know if they go back on what he says, or if they say, yep, I'm up for the challenge. But what it seems as though, again, this passage is doing, is it's putting the question in front of us, the reader, how would you respond? How would you respond when it comes to following Jesus, knowing that it's hard, it's difficult, it, it challenges your understanding of how to live, and you might have to relearn things. Essentially, what Jesus is saying to these guys and he's saying to us is don't flippantly follow. Like, don't think this is an add-on to my life. Don't think, oh, this is just something I do when it's convenient for me, or this is something I do for me, or this is something I do for self-improvement, or this is some self-actualization sort of program. Jesus is saying, no, 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 this, this is about reorienting your entire life. And you might have to relearn everything that has been both shaped in you and what you know to be true about reality. 